Hi guys, you join me here at Slum 86 and we are on the last round of the... Two minutes to go, two minutes. We are on the last round of the race sim, sim system racing league. Um, we are in, uh, I believe it is Zender, Zendervort is the name of the track. I could be, yeah, Zendervort. It's the GP layout. So that is the track we are racing here today. We've currently set our qualifying time of 1 minute 43.8. Um, we are about four seconds off the top pace. So I don't think we're in for contention of a win of the race, but we'll see how many points we can pick up. Um, if we can finish in round fifth, sixth, that way we'd be quite happy. Um, some good drivers in this stint. So we have a lot to see. And at the end, we will be showing the final standings in the championship. Once all is done and said for us, it'll be our race complete. We did miss one race, as I say. So we're hoping to finish top 20 first time round. We don't think it'll be too bad. Um, as I say, we do have a lot of progress in our terms of pace. I suppose, as you see, we are close, as I say, to three seconds or four seconds off the pace. So there's a lot there can be improved. So with that said, we're going to get straight to the race, guys. And we'll see you there on the grid. Okay, Liam, nice and neat. Stay out of trouble. Green, green, green. So a good clean start for us. Yellow flag, incident oh. clear, green flag. That's some tidy driving there. Yellow flag, stay sharp, green flag. Sector one. The gap ahead is now not point seven. So it looks like it's just going to settle down here. We're currently seventh. So we'll see if we can get this guy here ahead of us. And there's two guys jostling in front, so you never know what's going to come out of those positions. But I do want to get this position back. Ah, man. So we don't think he's going to start playing fair, so that's an indication of how he's racing. And we can't afford too many more incident points as it will affect our championship standings. So you pull it away from the guy behind. The gap's now 
Sector 1 is 3.2 seconds off the pace. a white flag. <laughs> Your left front tyre is running hot. <laughs> Sector 2 is yellow. Flag sector two. <laughs> Your front brakes are pretty hot now. <laughs> Fastest lap for Mukin in one forty point three five. <laughs> Come on, Liam. Nicely done. P5. Your lap time was 143.60. Sector 1 is 1.4 seconds off the pace. Sector 2 is 1.1 seconds off the pace. Sector 3 is 0.7 off the pace. He's got to stop pumping me. Hopefully we can break a bit of a gap here to him. Just left the door wide open to him. All right, Liam. Don't be intimidated by this little shit. Make him work for it. Your front tires are looking a little hot. Incident in sector one. Sector one is yellow. The gap in front is now 7.8 seconds. We think P6 has binned it in. Hugenholtz. Sector one is clear. <laughs> the gap behind is now 1.3. <laughs> so that's a bit of a breathing space, but not enough to rest. The right front tire is hot. Right front is hot. Your left front tire is really hot. <laughs> Your front tires have got minor wear.
Incident in Sector 2. Sector 2 is yellow. Sector 2 is clear. Okay, Liam, 10 minutes to go. That's 10 minutes left. You're halfway home. Your fuel is fine. The tyres are starting to struggle a bit, they really have gone off. Certainly feel the lack of grip. Yellow flag in sector two. So we can only hope he's struggling the same. And we just gotta keep it clean, keep between the white lines. Seconds. Green flag, sector two. <laughs> Your brake temperatures look good. Front tires are really hot. <laughs> Incident in sector three. Sector three is yellow. <laughs> yellow flag, stay sharp. <laughs> Green flag, you're clear. That lap time was 143.61. Sector 1 is 1.6, off the pace. <laughs> Sector 3 is clear.
So with five minutes to go, guys, we're doing quite well here. We've kind of solidified fifth place. So we can only see how much the incidents would affect our final point score. The gap behind is now 5.1 seconds. Sector 1 is yellow. So, will you keep the pressure on? We're holding it to about, it's possibly even extending slightly to the car in front, so we're on. P5. Looks like Jeff is right there. P5 is going to be the best we get. Sector 1 is clear. That's five minutes to go, five minutes. Brakes are getting pretty hot. Your right front has got minor wear. That left front will be past its best soon. Okay, Liam, you've got half your fuel left. You've just done a 144.89. So we just gotta be mindful of the guy behind, he has closed it down a small bit. So we just need to keep our pace solid. And the grip is definitely going from the tires. Struggling now to meet our normal braking points, so we just need to adjust everything. Sector 1 is 1.6 seconds off the pace. Sector 2 is 1.1 off the pace. Sector 3 is 1.4 off the pace. So we definitely don't have the pace to beat the top guys, but we're holding our own here in fifth. There'll be a nice couple of points to add to the board. We're just going to keep going off for two more minutes. The gap behind is now 4.4 seconds. Just two minutes left, two minutes to go. seen significant wear on the front. One 
one more lap to go. So as we come around to take a checkered flag, it's been a great race, get in. P5, there's the finish, good drive. So P5 for today guys, so we'll just get to the standings there, um, we'll say great race, happy with that, um, and then we'll say we'll just go to the standings here in a few minutes and we'll see how we finished out. So the results are in the winner, and he's exceedingly fast, uh, is P. Munkonian, hope I'm pronouncing that right. And here are the final standings, you'll see we finished 5th, started 6th, so we were up 1. And delighted to beat zero off there, he's a very quick driver as well, and did have the elbows out, all good in the end. So we'll see how we go. So what we see here guys in front of us is the leaderboard, um, hopefully you guys can see it. Um, you'll see we finished P14 overall in the championship, missing that one race, which is a shame, could have boosted us. We finished up with 78 points for that event. Um, the way the point system is on, I'll show you there, there is um, incidents that occur, and every time you have an incident, you lose two points, I believe it is. So even though we finished fifth, and we probably should be in the 80s, there was a couple of bangs and bumps with zero off, uh, did cost us a couple of their points. This is the race results within the system there, guys. So the way it goes, you'll see your, our finished position here. Um, as I say, we finished fifth. We had 90 points overall, um, but four incidents cost us more than, more than two points, maybe it's three points an incident. If that's the case, that's even worse. Um, so we should have ended up at 90 points, but we did drop to 78 in the end. Um, this is the position chart of everybody and the moves that were made during the race and if you really want to go expand here You'll see the lap times from everybody. So you'll see he was extremely quick. He backed off on the last couple of laps I'd imagine he could afford to and again Alves is another very quick driver So they would have kept each other honest. I suppose there were six seconds in the difference So he had the pace in the end to back off so and you'll see our lap times We were fairly consistent again in the 143s so happy enough with that as you see the tires really starting to burn here in the last couple of laps we were easing up and the man behind us i believe might have suffered with the same thing maybe a mistake there that's what gave us our breathing space and we were clear after that so overall guys finished 14th in the thing in our first season we were quite happy with that um so as we progress into another series we'll see how we go with the ranked races now in race room as well with lots to look forward to in the future so with all that said, guys, I've been Snowman86, and this has been another Race Room Racing event. Thanks very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you all later. Take care.